Good technically afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, we hope you'll return tomorrow. We like you guys a lot. We love you guys a lot. Yeah. So does this little furry girl. We've had a lazy or restful morning, but I think that's what we needed physically and emotionally. We have a the National Memorial honoring victims of COVID-19 on. This choir is singing Amazing Grace right now. All right, Sarah's making some weird concoction because we're kind of running low on the groceries. Yeah. We have to like revamp after the vacation. Yeah, because the vacation was so last minute, we brought a lot of our other groceries. Um, but we got some pesto potatoes. So you're frying up? Then I'm frying up. And then this is just like red kidney beans, some salsa, some jalapenos. And we got the tostadas out. Look at it. it smells absolutely divine yeah, it in here. it smells good. It tastes good. Then I think we're both going to get ready. We both need to take showers and get ourselves ready for the day. It's almost one. Um, don't know what we're doing yet. We talked about going to Springs because Sarah, all she wanted was a Mickey pretzel. I think we even maybe mentioned it in a vlog. I think I was just like... I don't know if it made it in the vlog, but Sarah, yeah. like, all she wanted Mickey pretzels. Like, I don't think they sell Mickey pretzels at Disney Springs ever. Well, over the past week, they added a cart that sells Mickey pretzels. I think the same day, like, World of Disney and more, like, Disney things were opening. They were, and so we thought that that would be, like, a simple way to help our hearts. And I also just wanted to point out, like, think of how exhausted we are after a weekend. Emotionally. Emotionally, right. Um, we really even haven't done much. We've just been aware and trying to educate ourselves. And... People deal with this every single day, every to, step they take. To a scale that's way more intense right. than what we And we're seen. tired of it. I mean, <laughs> it's like, it, it's almost like silly to feel that I could be tired from this when so many people are affected by yeah. it constantly. So. And Sarah's pointing out things from our, yesterday's vlog. If you haven't seen it, it's actually loading up right now. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's one of the most like poignant, is that the right word? Poignant? Poignant vlogs that we've ever put up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. It's just overwhelming. Yeah. And um, we're going to continue to talk about it and continue to talk with you guys and just become more knowledgeable. Here we are all done and plated. We're going to manja. We're going to get ready. We're going to get out and have our day. All right, we've made it to Disney Springs. And, and? we found the Mickey pretzels. <laughs> So many more stores are open now. It's crazy, but still good masks and social distancing. Yeah. And um, it's real hot out. It is really hot out. Oh, I think they're stormtroopers. Sarah hates the stormtroopers. I don't hate the stormtroopers. She does hate the stormtroopers. Too. I hate... Um, she hates that it's breaking the story of Disney Springs. Yeah. Because Disney Springs yeah. has its own story. Yeah. It does not make sense for stormtroopers to be here. I get the magic, I get it, but like... How about you go show them all get the pretzels? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to move. Mm, one old male bandolin away, please. Roger that. Garbage can eats. And pretzels. Not just any pretzel though. A Mickey pretzel. Does it taste like heaven? In Home. bread form? <laughs> Fresh, isn't it? Is your back sweating like mine is? Because mine is. All right, so the pretzels were absolutely divine. A little salty, but divine. You can always take salt off. We're going to head over to uh, World of Disney and, oh, hope, and hope that it's not busy and see if we can just feel some AC and some Disney music magic. If not, we'll just relax. Look at this super cute shirt. Hi, Mickey. It's official. We're in a Disney-owned shop after more than two months. Feels and good. Not even just because of the air conditioning. We didn't have to wait in any line. Super <laughs> awesome, easy walking, and it's not even crazy in here. Lots of space. All the stanchions are in floating islands are far apart. It's gonna be hard not to touch everything. I know. I know. These are beautiful. I have no idea if these are like super old news or not, but... Well, like I've... the whole ink and paint line has been here. I don't know about these plates. But this is what we got Levi. Oh, I just ordered it online for my cousin. And I've never seen it in person. This is this is a really cool line. Um, so cute. They don't have a B. But these are so sweet. I think I, I want all of them, kind of. 
I this is making my addiction me. come back. Very and I don't see an S either. Sarah just blew my mind. I didn't know you could get Dole Whip here now. I know. I didn't know they switched some of these things up like that. And then there's like, like a Dole Whip nacho. Oh, we'll take, we're gonna check out co-op. See how that's going. Yeah. We're gonna have to visit that little stand. We found more on co-op. And there's P. Yeah. Peter Pan. I love it. I think we need it. We found B. What is it? Big Thunder. Oh. That's such a good one. What about S? What's S? I love this D for Dr. Dan's. It's so cute. We need it. S? I'm down for getting them if we can get all three. Like, it's for Soren. No, it's not. Yeah. Oh, I think we should get S, P, and B. It's R for Ryan. Oh, and where's the J? Riverboat for Ryan. Where's J? Jungle Cruise, baby. We need the whole thing. Oh, the W for World Show. We, the, 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 and the V for Villains, but it's, they have it's, but it's phantasmic. What are those? I think they're like mint holders, but I, I don't, I know that's not true. And then, this is so cute, and they have it in blanket form. No, for. I think we need the W. Oh, no. I just realized that we're in Trendy. That might mean the Christmas store might be open. We must leave. Now. Well, it's gonna open back up eventually, but it is still closed. That's okay. It'll open up again. So Sarah's uh, checking some things out on her phone, but I just want to give two little updates that I believe that there's going to be another protest tonight at Orlando City Hall at 6. There's a couple of different ones, but you never know when they're last minute, how true they are and everything, but support, I think there's one at three o'clock. I think it was five o'clock at Lake Eola, six o'clock at the courthouse. No, three o'clock at Lake Eola, five o'clock courthouse, six o'clock at City Hall. I've seen the most about the City Hall. So on the way home, I'm either going to drop Sarah off depending on what time we leave here, or she's gonna drop me off so I can go do that protest hopefully. But um, early this morning, mayor of Orange County enacted a curfew because some of the some, there were a few riots last night in Orlando and Orange County, so because of that, 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. is the curfew, kind of like during the the March and April months. Um, but because of that, Springs is closing at 7 p.m. starting tonight. Woohoo! Look at that car! That's boat, that car that's boat. boat! That's a Disney boat! What? That's a Disney boat! What? That's a Disney boat! We love Disney boat. My other ones will soon be over there. I don't know actually if they will be, but I'm hopeful. I think it's June 22nd or before once that bad boy over there opens up. Fingers crossed, we don't know. Look at that. Yeah. Magic. Once again, just another little piece of normalcy down here in Central Florida. Characters in flight. I have no idea what it's actually called nowadays, but. Okay, so some fighters back up and at it. Alrighty friends, I'm going to drop Peter off downtown um, where there's a vigil and then a march. The vigil yeah, might have just started. should have started two minutes, two minutes ago at Lake Eola. Yeah. And then I believe we're going to march to City Hall at six. Yes. And uh, I'm going to drop Peter off. Um, and then when I go home, I'm going to try and do a little bit more compiling of what we want to um like what what would they be resources? called resources what resources yes that we want to just educate ourselves on and share with you and um also who who we plan on sending some donations to so that way i'll be i'll be active in my own way too all right it's crazy how a little breeze and everything make things cooler I feel significantly cooler here than at Disney Springs, but I am, Sarah dropped me off at Lake Yola. I am coming up on the Walt Disney Amphitheater where there's supposed to be a vigil. A couple minutes started late, better late than never though. And uh, I just think it's super important to keep these, keep these protests, protests and not riots. It's super important to acknowledge the difference there. So while I can be out, I'm gonna be out. Here we go, good amount of people here at a vigil. Got Walt Disney Amphitheater. Alright, so really awesome.
awesome vigil. I think there's I think there's three groups right now. There's this group, one in City Hall, and one at Orlando Police Department. I'm with this group from the vigil. I think they're making the mile walk, mile and a half walk to the police department. I think the city hall group is meeting up with us over at the police department. And this is all being coordinated by Green Defenders of Orlando. So, the crowd's got great energy. Um, a lot more people than I expected. I think people have been joining us along the way. We're a couple blocks away from Orlando Police Station. Still got my mask, got pants, got shoes, got my water. Staying on the edge of the whole group just to keep my distance from everybody. I'm excited to see how this goes once we get to the police station in about a block. bigger crowd today but still looking good and peaceful as you can see the cops way more geared up today with protective gear riot gear i just realized it looks like there's national guard on the roof but be super careful and be smart about it but i'm staying at distance because it's also distancing and everything but a lot of people came out today for a great day all right it's about seven o'clock orlando's got a 10 10 p.m curfew um the crowd is growing i keep going to side to side from the back to see if i can see anything changing in the police and the crowds it's a lot of chanting but there are the very the people the protesters right in front are just asking questions to the, to the police that are standing in the front but they're just not responsive no emotion they're just asking questions about their policies what they think and do and everything and there's it's just flat so it's a lot of chanting a lot of questions, but I will point out, they got a whole row of very geared up police bikes that I presume if this gets some kind of out of control, that they would then close off this street and push us from two different ends. Um, that's just what I presume from watching the news last night and what happened in other cities. All right, things have gotten a little bit more tense. You can see all the cops over there, state troopers over here blocking it. It seems like the group wanted to get on a 408 like there was a group yesterday. So I'm not sure if they're going to try to go up the exit ramp. Uh, they got the off ramps blocked off too now. So you can see full right here on these bike cops. The vast majority of this protest wanted to not get on 408. They listened to the cops. They kept walking. There was a small portion that wanted to try to push on the 408. But the rest, like more than 90% of this group was screaming, Peaceful protest, keep walking. I think we're going back to City Hall now. Um, since we made the stance over at the police station and now we're gonna head back, I think to City Hall. Cause I think there was another group already building there. Not quite sure, but we'll figure it out. We still got two, still got two and a half hours until curfew. But I don't know if it's the crowding buildings, but it sounds like there is a big old group up there at City Hall. Black Lives Matter! He's telling them to put their masks on. They're getting ready to cheer. Oh, there it is. There it is. So you see these people are trying to keep everybody away. protests are still rocking look at this now this is a peaceful protest and it's so empowering 
This is the kind of protest we need to talk about, not what I wake up in the morning to see what happened at one in the morning across the country. To give you some context to where this protest is, behind this building right here is where that Orlando sign is. My, my, my skeleton, I always stop it at my runs, is right there. I'm about to have to turn around and head home from where we're at in comparison to when curfew starts. So, I'm still got, it's only 9.20, so I'm not, I'm not beating curfew. I wasn't in that group over there. I am safe standing here. I'm about on the other side of this parking lot, but I did just wait. I don't know if we're gonna put it in the vlog. I'll talk to Sarah, so I don't know if you guys if you guys saw it or not, but there was tear gas, there were pellets on this group of maybe 75 people, but they ran away from the cops, they called for themselves. And the leaders of the protest are saying, come here if you need help. We've got water, we've got medicine, we've got, I think it's uh, baking soda and water for the tear gas. So the, 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 the protest leaders are trying to help people who were hit with the tear gas or pellets. I truly am so proud of this city for what I witnessed for the past three and a half, about three hours and 15 minutes of peaceful protesting, walking over eight miles throughout this city for what needs to change with police brutality. And I hope that tonight when we're all sleeping, like what happened yesterday, things like looting of Mall Millennia don't happen because that's what the entire world via the news and social media are gonna think that's what Orlando was, and it's not. I saw kids and families all over the city march for the past three and a half hours for what they believe in, in a very peaceful way. I just I got a bottle of water a little bit ago from just a truck on the side of the road. Um, that was the important thing to happen. That was the important thing that I wanted to witness. We people focus on that. This is the craziest shot. It has gotten quite late. It is May 31st. Today's message is by Scott Westfield. What you do, the way you think, makes you beautiful. Another great quote for a great day. All right, Sarah's getting ready for bed. I'm gonna do a sign off. Um, today was a very important day, very educational day, and very empowering day. Sarah did a ton of research um, while I was out at the march and protests. Um, just a very important time in our country. And I, th I think we worded it well online yesterday. We said, like, any actions, no matter how big or small, are important and can bring us all in the right direction. So I'll leave everybody with that thought. But it, tomorrow is Monday. It's weird. I think I find out this week when I'm going back to the office, which was potentially going to be this week, but I don't, maybe in a week. I don't know. I, I have a couple calls tomorrow. Um, but it would definitely be weird and nice to get back to like more of a work schedule after being remote and off last week. Um, it'll just be, I think, a bit of normalcy, new normalcy. But I hope everybody's doing great, and we love each and every one of you. Thank you so much. It's good to be home.